12 top poker players from every span of the globe. They've labored in love for an entire league season, and now the end is near. The final table set, but who will be crowned Premier League champion? We're in the midst of a corker. Still six left on this final table, including 11 times world champion Phil Helmuth, UK and European champion Fraser, the German steady man Eddie Scharf, WPT winner, it's the Finn Yuha Helpy, EPT champion Vicky Corin, and poker diva Liz Liu. Last time we didn't lose any players, but Phil Helmet certainly fell from grace. His chip lead frittered away, and the question, can the poker brat keep his rattle in the pram? Phil Helmuth is on complete tilt. He's losing control. The German Eddie Scharf has looked the most comfortable up to now. And Vicky Korn took the chip lead at one stage after tangling several times with Liz Liu. Whoa, oh, yes! Oh, my! You what a great beauty! Go what a great area. call that was. Yeah. Can Phil get back in it? I've done everything right except I haven't won any hands. Someone will be crowned champion tonight. To win this thing, it, you know, would be a really nice feather in my cap. I'm trying to be the greatest poker player of all time. I'm not sitting there to come third, second, anything. I'm going out there to win it. I've had enough of second places. I'm here to win. I'd love not to come last. I'd love to show a profit on my investment, but it's not going to kill me if I don't. And I think that means I'll maybe have a more fun time than some of them. I'm expecting to win it. I'm not expecting to get out first. The guys are sitting in the green room and, and betting and taking odds. And I often see at the end of the line it says, any German to win 10 to 1, that definitely has to stop. Sharp has been dominant, and what a story it would be if he could sit on this chip lead to the end. Ian Fraser's been on the up and up, as has Vicky Corrin. Helmuth dropping off over a hundred grand since he sat down. But anybody can win. This thing's gonna go on deep into the night. Three thoughts on the road? I, I, I am joined by the monster mash of Dave Devilfish Elliott oh, and Tony yeah, G. Your, Lines up to five and ten thousand, and there is your chip leader. When Ian was went crazy, started raising every pot, I pointed it out too. That's I'm going to just call with these two fours. Why not? You can raise. Just call, call, huh? Yeah, I told you. Just call, baby. He didn't want to raise again so many times in a row. What's Phil going to do with it? He's got, he's got a sooty dangler, baby. <laughs> sooty dangler with the ace kicker. <laughs> that'll, be that'll be Phil's Pass. next book. Pass. The suit of danglers. Yeah, How to way. play the dangler. Start at oh. the bottom and work your way down, baby. <laughs> Check. The nice Check. pops down here. We're going to get a little bit of action. Yeah, everybody's Not too got much. Something. What about a four? Yeah. What happens if a four comes? Eddie takes the pot. <laughs> Help me in the big blind with the face, with the paint. And there's 40,000 in there. There's a couple players in here who would like to have that money. Well, Jack Queen's about the best down there at the moment. Check. Ian Fraser with ace nine. Check. Uh, I like the Jack Queen. Check. Help is playing this KG. Help is going to call if anybody makes a move. Don't worry about that. They might even raise him. I guess it looks like a good board for Phil to bet in, but it wouldn't be a great bet, would it? <laughs> I don't think he's going to bet. No value for him. Too, too much risk. No, you can't bet into that. It's a very dangerous. No, I mean, this is a bad bet if it makes it, I think. 9 10, all them callers. Too, too many draws out there too for Too many a nine draws ten. out there, everything, you know? I mean, it's a bad bet. That's 15. a very bad bet. 15,000. What is he thinking? Well, how's Fraser going to read this, first of all? Second pair top kicker. If Fraser calls, you I can move in here. I think Fraser will. Uh, will uh, he's going to call, is he? He's not going to raise. I think he's just going to call and you all call to him. Or he'll fall and you all call. One of them two combinations. Well, Fraser's on 285,000. Right, it's 30 total. He's, he's playing a big game here. Now you I can move in. No, I think you are my throw it away now. Because he don't know if Phil's going to re raise behind him if he calls. I don't think he wants to move in with this straight draw. He'd have to put everybody on just about their exact hands to move in, wouldn't he? Yeah. He'd have to be reasonably confident he could get people off it. Oh my God, he's grabbed him! 
I have a feeling he'll move in. This is a good opportunity to make a stand. Yeah, well, he can't call. He has, I mean, moving off all this is on the, you know, he can't call it now 30,000 at all. This will be a brilliant play if he moves in and picks up 75,000. Yeah, it's a lot of money to pick up, and he, he can make it a big raise. He can make it about 160 more. It's an ideal situation to move in. A rainbow with a, with a perfect straight draw and two overcards. Yeah, and plus one's got an ace deuce and the other one's got a second pair. It's perfect. But he don't know that. He's in. He's wow. in. Wow. He's in. Tony called it right. He's in. And now they're both going to throw it around the way. And you ask Pass. one of He's nice in, pop. and they're in the bin. I mean, that's great stuff for the Finn, isn't it? I mean, well, you uh, know, I said I liked the Jack Queen at the beginning when I saw the flop. That was always going to be the favorite in this hand to take the pot, right, Tom? Yeah. You but could see it happening, and they never bet enough to put any pressure on him. And now Ian Fraser, there's no way he can call. But, I mean, he can only make this move if... If he reads Ian Fraser's raises weak, can he? I mean, uh, he's, he's, he's read it perfect, hasn't he? He's getting desperate as well. There's a lot of factors. You know, he has to make a stand. He's at a stage now where he either gets a big hand, he doesn't want to keep dribbling down. Even if being called here, it would be even money. He's got 14 cards to catch. Yeah. It's exactly even money, as we can see. You has come up with some big plays in this tournament at the right time. And it's a critical hand. Pass. He's got it. Doesn't have to see the Turner River, does the Finn. And with that pot, he will somersault over about four players. Yuha Helpy is the original Finnish poker player. He has won a WPT event, but is more well known for finishing second in big events. Once to roll into Wolf and once to Phil Helmuth. My career highlight is definitely the WPT Aruba because that meant a lot to me. I was totally unknown before that. Then people got to know me. I got to play some big tournaments. I got some other nice results and uh, it's been like a dream after that. I have a few big second places. I really hated losing to Roland and especially losing to Phil last summer. But uh, I hope I get my revenge here. We are giving you the chance to win a trip for two, including flights and accommodation to Europe's gambling capital, Monte Carlo. To enter, just answer the following question correctly. Which of the following is the highest ranking hand? A, two pairs, B, a flush, C, a straight. To enter, go to www.channel4.com forward slash poker. The competition closes on 31st of August. Welcome back. Blinds up now, seven and fifteen thousand, and it's Yuha Helpy under the gun. It's actually his birthday today, and to well, you might have expected a better present than that, but you gotta play what you get. And Jack's a raisin. I think they'll just let him have it this time. Pass. Do they believe? The last oh, time. Oh, look at it. Look at this Help one here. What's this position? Fraser, and quick all in. We are going to have a clash. Well, well, that's it. well, one ace is out and one king is out. Yeah, so Fraser's in bad shape here. Yeah. You has a big favorite here. I think that ace from Space might just pop in again. It doesn't Hearts. So far. Nobody's but no got hearts. Wow. How good is it to have a heart right now? Wow, what a big difference. It's hard to hit now. Yeah. It must be around 90% yeah, now. Oh, oh, baby, now look at that one, huh? Now you don't want another half to come in. See how it's Unbelievable. Did I say that ace from Spurs was coming down, oh, Jesse? Help, he's going to be out. The, the jack of hearts is a split. The jack of diamonds for the win, and that's it. He can get up and gather his stuff. Yeah. He's just hoping for a heart. Show us some heart. Oh. And he has oh, some heart. It's going to be hurt. Happy birthday. What a game this is, huh? What, what, what do you mean? I, what, I have the best hand one, the money one. Okay, yeah. One. So if you give me... Spooky. That was spooky, wasn't it? You know, this, this, this is just designed to make us sit in this box for another three hours. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Paul Newman movie, cool. That shuffling machine went <laughs> smash into pieces. Yeah, there is three. 